Every morning, sports enthusiasts come to Nepal's national stadium in Kathmandu. Among the runners are taekwondo players practicing their moves. Kalyan Kumar coaches both children and adults. And some of his students have won international championships. At 11, his pupil Sanu Kanchitamang is full of dreams. I want to play taekwondo and win gold medals. I've participated in few games. The Indoor Nepal Championship was her first game and she won a gold medal. She's made a name in the Valley Championships. Nepal doesn't have much of a presence in international sport, but since winning an Olympic bronze in taekwondo in 1988, this sport is an exception, with Nepali players gaining recognition at international championships. With limited facilities, Nepali players have a disadvantage. Sangina Baidya is one of three Nepali Olympic qualifiers. From the beginning, Nepali players have to face difficulties. It's worse for girls as the families and even the society throw obstacles. Our training is poor. Players abroad have better equipment, indoor training facilities. We just play rough and tough, but we still compete internationally and we never compromise on our performance. Now the World Taekwondo Federation has taken interest in helping Nepali players. The Federation wants to coach children in earthquake hit areas like this one. Nepal's government also has plans to make Taekwondo into a national sport. Once they put the Taekwondo in national sports, then they have a very good chance to win some medals in championships and also Olympic Games. So I believe we can give them a dream and hope and also the top level of athletes, we can invite them to Korea to learn more and skillful. So this project will really enhancing the development of Taekwondo here in this country. The immediate goal for now is to win the South Asian Games, which are about to start in India. Good job, good job, good job. All of you should win gold medals. I'm fully confident. The next goal, the Olympics. Sabina Shrestha, Al Jazeera, Kathmandu.